Cancer. What is going on, my dears? What is popping? What is popping? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back. Did you miss me? Because I surely missed you guys. We're here to find out what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies that has liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Y'all make sure that y'all hit this thumbs up button if the video resonates for you and, you know, just want to send some loves over here. Always hit that thumbs up button and tell a friend about me. All right? If there's anybody that would like to book a personal or private reading, the only thing you need to do is click the description of this video or hit the about tab on my youtube page and send me a message on instagram on instagram message or if you don't have instagram just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and i'll go ahead and slide you on through and get you on the schedule you feel me all right so listen cassie you already know especially all my ogs you know we give god praise and thanks we give him his flowers before we even start asking questions so if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me let's just say a quick prayer father god Thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us through, showing us that, you know, we are durable. We got that, you know, that longevity. We got that long lasting staying power, Father God. We don't give up. We don't quit. You know, and, you know, if, if not for nothing, we are fool and for believing in our dreams, Father God. So that's why a lot of us are successful, Father God. Are we just known for just you know, having a lot of money and just living the best of life and just being popular, Father God. So, you know, I don't know why I just feel like to say, just allow us to just maintain our humbleness and just, you know, staying focused and keeping our eyes on the prize, you know, having a lot of fun and enjoying ourselves, but maintaining focus all the time, you know, keeping our eyes on our money, keeping our eyes on our family first and just, you know, you know, Allowing that generosity to stay there, but just having a nice reserve for ourselves, Father God. So just allow us to just maintain focus and just be balanced, Father God. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive for the month of July 2021, Father God. We're here to have some fun. We thank you so much for your presence in our life and the way you just walk through and you always just guide and direct us and just save us. When you, you always come through in the nick of time, Father God. So just thank you. Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. All right, shalalah, hello. Hello. All right, so listen, every last one of these decks on the table is brand new. Thank you to everyone that's been booking personal and private readings. Y'all made all of this possible so I can invest back into the, you know, into the table, you know. So let's get into this. These are like um, crystal grid energy cards. So let's see what pops out for you guys, all right? Father God, give me guidance for cancer. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for my cancers. One card, please. Thank you so much. One card for cancer. I can't even decide. Okay. One card. Oh my gosh. See, every time y'all always make the reading so hard, y'all just always want to break the damn rules. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. One card. All right. I ain't trying to struggle with y'all today. What is this? Green selectite. It says fertility, abundance, and growth. Okay. Oh, and it's the cancer card. Hello. Look at you popping up in your own reading. Like, listen. Okay, baby. I'm going to show up and show out if you want me. Okay. One card to just demonstrate what I'm doing. Okay. I'm growing. I'm fertile like murder. Okay. Hello. Birthing hips. Okay. Fertile birthing hips. Hello. Shy, shy. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this says green selectite. Nature is calling. Green selectite attracts abundance, surrounding you in a force of clarity, positivity, and heightened awareness. A keen to the great outdoors, green selectite transmute stagnant old beliefs into courage and explore outside your comfort zone. As with nature, there is a beauty and imperfect and growing occurs only when we allow ourselves the room to expand. Green selectite opens the heart and third eye chakras, helping you to let go of past resonance and resentments and planting seeds for you to grow and expand. Cancer, Venus. This card represents fertility, abundance, and growth. All right. Now, y'all better come on. Y'all better watch out. Y'all know y'all cancer women. Y'all like to be pregnant. <laughs> y'all know y'all likes to be pregnant.
pregnant and y'all definitely got fertile birthing hips. So y'all better watch it. Watch it. Oh God. I'm reloaded. And, and, uh, sound like some of y'all men's is reloaded. Okay, y'all. Y'all ain't shooting no blanks, fathers. Okay, hello. Hello, kiss me. All right. Your fertile abundant ass. A lot of the cancers I know always have money. And they always like to look good, smell good, take good care of themselves. Okay, you got the star in the reverse. What else just popped out here? The Knight of Cups. So you got the star in the reverse and the Knight of Cups. So, okay. Again, it's like someone's like lost focus of their dreams in search of love or in search of like... um. It's either like you lost hope or, 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 or focus in one place. And I don't know if you've hopped on your uh, horse there and you took your, your, your passions elsewhere. You know, because it's like, to me, like the, the Knight of Cups, and this is the Knight of Cups, right? Yeah, the Knight of Cups definitely believes in itself. They know that they have something to offer. They know that they have something to give on a, a very extreme and abundant level. They know, and look, it's on the fish. So, like, the fish in Lenormand represents prosperity. It represents things going upstream. It represents, like, pregnancy and and, and birth and things. So, I, again, like, I don't know. Like, there could be, like, an unplanned pregnancy. I don't know. I'm feeling like there could be like an unplanned pregnancy. But it was like you were enjoying whatever it was that you were doing or something. It's like, again, um, it's like someone could have got either sidetracked or focused on what they were good at. Because I don't know. I don't I don't know if it's that they had a, a lot of love to spread around. Because uh, the Knight of Cups, is it represents movement. But I definitely feel like it's something where someone stopped wishing for something to happen in one place and moved on and took it to another. Do you understand? Because the Knight of Cups is, is moving and searching and seeking. Do you understand? So there is something where it's like, I'm not putting my energy on something that I know is not going to give me the results and it's beneath me. Like, I know how beautiful I am. I know what I bring to the table. I know how talented I am. Like, this could definitely have something to do with finances and career. It doesn't necessarily have to do with love at all because I don't pull cards with the intentions to do love readings. But if it reads for love for you, it'll read. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... Some type of gift, something that you wanted, something that you've been praying for. You're not offering that energy in one source no more because it's like you don't believe it anymore. It's you lost hope. It doesn't make sense. I know that I'm fertile. I know that I'm abundant. I know that everything around me grows. I have to keep my energy up. So this can have something to do with. This wasn't a good source to feed. Whatever this was over here was not a good source to promote growth and to help feed positive energy into what you believe in. Do you get me? So I'm moving from that place because I know what resides in me. I know my gifts and my talents. And if you don't believe in me, I believe in me. So you're in search for people that kind of have that same heart and that are moving in the same direction you know most fish where they swim upstream they're not stagnant and I believe that this said something about um it says green selectite transmute stagnant old beliefs you know again like I said stagnant old beliefs you don't believe in something anymore remember I said that so it's like yeah mm -mm. let's see what we got here with the Lenormand let's see what we got the Lenormand with you guys I like that y'all just like, it's like y'all not giving up on yourself. Y'all just giving up on a situation where it was and as it stands and you just moving on. I don't give up on myself at all. Like I, I'm just taking my dreams elsewhere and I don't share my dreams with everybody anymore. Like if you don't, mm -mm, I'm, I'm just not open just to, to sharing and just talking about my faith or my belief systems or what I believe I'm doing with myself to nobody. The sun, like I'm trying to tell you, it's like, again, you feel like a star child. You feel like a child of the sun. 
and this could be a masculine energy as well like the sun that represents male energy it represents testosterone i don't know why i feel like a I don't know why I feel like a sweaty chest in the summertime. Like, I don't know why I'm seeing, like, dudes outside playing basketball. I see, like, again, people playing. I don't, that, that's what I'm seeing. It's like, okay, so, again, it's like the summertime. So, it's like the prime time for things to grow. The sun is shining the, the, the hottest. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know why I feel like athleticism, sweat, energy. Like, this is something that... You get a good workout. You get a good... It's help Because you got to think about, like, any type of sports, any type of thing where... Again, I'm seeing people, like, playing and having fun. The sun... Is, and then you got the Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds is, like, something new. Something... Um, it could be, like, a new purchase. It could be, like, a new state of awareness. Again, the sun represents illumination. Like, you're finally seeing something for the first time. Like, um... Or you could feel like the sun is shining on you, like the spotlight is on you or something like that. And it could have something to do with like sports, gifts, or talents or something that you have some type of skill in. And again, like the night is moving towards where there's shining, where there's growth, where there's new birth. Like that's what, that's what the sun means too. It means new birth, a new life. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this? The lady. And the lady with the ace of spades. The ace of spades again means... Walking away from something, look, again with the star in the reverse, this is something that you didn't have faith in, you didn't believe in, you didn't feel like it promoted positive, healthy results in what you, you need encouragement, you need people that understand the determination and how much work and energy and faith in, in, in your own self, how much you got to believe in your dreams, even when don't nobody else believe it. I believe in it. Do you understand? So... The ace of spades is out with the old, in with the new. And, the, and what you walked away from, I promise you, is being replaced with so much more positivity. You will understand it. Do you understand? Like this star, this, this. I don't know. I feel like this person is like looking for some type of recognition. It's like they... I want people to see me. Like, I'm talented as a motherfucker. I don't know why I really want to say this. It's like someone is talented as a motherfucker. And it's like, I'm that girl. Or I am. I am I, I, someone had to realize that I don't want to put myself in a place where I'm not wanted. If someone doesn't see my light, other people will. I need to take myself to a different area where the sun is shining a little bit more. Where people are happier because the sun represents happiness. It represents joy. It represents newness. Like something is risen. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to, It's like the star is risen or something like that. I feel like someone may be finally getting a chance to show their talents. Things are finally growing around them. Like, you're finally seeing it's like, you get it. I don't need to find placement here. It's over here. Okay. Baby, you got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Wheel of Fortune, Cancer. So, again, like I'm telling you, you made your next move your best move. You're looking good. Everything, listen, what goes up must <laughs> go down. And what is down always rises to the tops. And then I now want to say the last and first and the first ends last. Everything happens in divine timing. And that's just what you need to know in general. You got to have faith in that. And regardless of the situation and environment, you can always change your environment. You got to realize who you are and what you bring to the environment. You know what I'm saying? I bring, I bring the sun to the environment. I bring the fun. I bring the, I bring the positive energy. And when I leave, it leaves with me on period. <laughs> and when I leave with my blessings, my blessings leave with me on period. You understand? With this lady energy here, it's like I, I this could very much so be a feminine energy um, that's having to release and let go. Or this could be a masculine energy that's needing to. These are two aces. Do you understand? So, like, the 
feminine energy is someone that's more of a person of logic and intellect. It, but it's, it, this has to do with more political. It's like a more of a political with the spades. Do you understand? It has more to do with law and customs and um, territory. I don't know why I feel like I, I don't know why I have to feel I feel like I have to say something about territory and uh, judicial system or like um, it's border or something like that. It's bound. It's boundaries or something. I don't know why I need to say this. The Ace of Diamonds is the diamonds when it comes to spades. I want to say the diamonds is more mature. I, if this is a male and a male and female energy, the man can be older because it's the same almost kind of suit almost because it's about intellect skill knowledge spirit so for this one is more spiritual this one is more logical like this one has matured i want to say it's gone through a rebirth where it's not just about facts and uh customs and tradition it's about what it's about feeding my soul it's not about customs and traditions or something like that i don't know why i had to point that out but i feel like i had to point that out like that makes sense for somebody yeah and then the there's 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 a difference there's a spiritual level of difference and then when it comes to because i want to say like there could have been i don't want to say that this is like a mother or anything like this, this is a younger energy this person may think that they know everything with the spades and it's very smart but you don't have uh, the feminine energy doesn't have the spiritual know-how they really haven't transmuted that it's, uh, they still don't understand what it's about to have to feed the soul this person will feed the ego because it's the, the the spades could be a very good or a very fucking bad thing do you understand what i'm saying so this is a feeding of ego this is a feeding of soul and spiritual growth and both of these people are on the wheel but as one goes up the other one goes down it's just not on the same path I don't know why I need to say that because I have to say that this could be an argumentative energy because it's a spade you see what I'm saying very smart you think you know everything but you don't know every fucking thing do you understand what i'm saying and it's like the the star has to do with faith this person doesn't get faith this person gets logic you know like this this is this could be someone that doesn't believe in god because scientifically there is no scientific proof like you're wishing to this person believes in faith this is diamonds do you understand what i'm saying pressure creates diamond this person has been through enough and i want to say spiritually is very young because they might have just grown from this phase i don't know oh we could be talking about the same person i don't fucking know shit okay and then again this has to do with the sun this has to do with fire this has to do with like passions this says trust the divine order you were being helped trust the divine order you were being helped and again like i told you the wheel of fortune Trust the divine order. Out with the old, in with the new. And that's exactly what this, I don't know if this lady is doing or this is what you're having to do to this lady. Or uh, again, moving into your purpose. Recognizing that certain things don't resonate with you and certain things have to be removed for more freedom and betterment of your potential in your life. For fertility. You can't plant new seeds and expect new seeds to grow until you till the land and kind of get rid of the old roots. Do you feel what I'm saying? You have to promote a positive environment to expect growth and fertile land. You have to take care of certain things. You have to clean up certain shit. So, again, because someone believed in themselves so much that they took their fruits and moved elsewhere, they're being rewarded for that. Trust in divine order 
you are being helped. And it looks like someone here is helping their goddamn self. Amen. Amen. Shalala. Okay. Hello. Let's get into love. Even though I feel like this, but this does not necessarily have to do with love because the star represents someone's dreams, someone's goals, someone's ambitions. It does not have to necessarily do with love at all, but it could necessarily be love. But we're definitely stepping into love. So let's see. Okay, right out there. Okay, uh-uh. We went into dating. We jumped right into dating. So again, if this did have to talk about whatever the love situation, if this had to, the general energy had anything to do with love, I didn't believe in this anymore. Either something was too argumentative and it was too difficult and it just needed to end for our, both of our sake. Someone is free. It's Knight of Cups, searching, longing, looking for what's looking for them. Do you feel what I'm saying? I'm looking for what's looking for me. Okay? And that's just point blank on period. Like, I'm offering my cup to what is giving to me in return. I want to have fun. I want people to see me. I want to shine this season. I want, look. The sun is kissing my skin. I'm getting a little tan. I'm getting a little buff. Again, like I feel like, especially if this is a masculine energy, I feel like their body is looking good. Like they're taking the, they are working out. I feel like they're, they feel like they're in the best. They look the best that they've ever looked. Like they would date their self. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like they would most definitely date their self, especially with that Ace of Diamonds. Like you could have bought a new car. You could just have a new house. You could have your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like a brand new beginning, you know, like or all your shit could be new, especially like your clothes and shit. And I have a feeling like someone don't have no problem with having their shirt off. It's like, especially if you are athletic and you out there play basketball, football, whatever you're doing, you could be most definitely believe like cancer's like to show the fuck off so listen hey <laughs> let me know what time you gonna be on the court i'm with it look manifestation so someone is most definitely in a place where they're open they feel free and available i want to say that they feel like uh i want to say that they're being generous to their system that they're eating I want to say that they're eating better or something about someone having like a better diet or someone has some type of better diet. Because again, you see how like the um, the infinity sign is right there and then you see like the wheel of fortune. I feel like there's good circulation. There's good circulation, positive circulation uh, going on. I feel like someone is like. Finally healthy for once in a while or something. I don't know why I feel like I need to say that. Like their reproductive system or something is very... It's in the prime state, especially for children. So watch out for that. Because I definitely feel like your heart is in a good place and everything is just like moving good so a lot of things may be blossoming and developing around you cancer um and i definitely feel like you're open and available to meeting new people and again you want to date me want to date you you know <laughs> like i'm open people see me i'm shining like people see my cup but i i, I don't you're not just going to offer it to anybody i just feel like you're dating and everything that you're manifesting is like coming to you the will of fortune like Fertile abundance, growth, like things are just things are going good, Cancer. Let's let's see what else we got going on. What advice and love we got here? Okay, your soulmate love surrounds you this very moment. Stop and feel it. Unconditional love glowing through the eternal flame of oneness. A spiritual union of two souls radiating light for the eternal world to feel. Your soulmate love surrounds you this very moment, especially for y'all singles. If y'all have not, because again, I see someone seeking. Someone is like moving, you know. I definitely feel like someone is single here. I don't know why I feel like I might want to do something for couples, but 
I don't want to do too much. Because I ain't do that for everybody else. And y'all know y'all always be trying to pull extra shit out of me, cancer. Y'all always do it. Y'all always do it. But only thing I know is that you guys are in a very good space. And a lot of... I feel like the light in the spotlight is shining on you guys. Especially if you're single. Especially if you're single. And I just... I feel like you don't want to be somewhere where you don't... Where you're not wanting to be kept... And you're okay with that. You love you. You know that you. It's like if you had to take your shit. Or if you had to move from a certain place. Because you had to take your talents out there. Because whoever didn't believe in you. Or y'all didn't have the same belief system. It's like they fucked up. Because like. um, I feel like everybody else is open to what you're saying. You know what I'm saying. And things are. Moving in a better place. Things are more prosperous since you packed your shit and your talents and you went went to trucking, you know. I definitely see a lot of offerings here with the dating. It's like people definitely want to. I, I feel like someone looks good and they smell good. They just like, okay, you got the hermit in the reverse. So it's like. Yeah, no, I don't want to be kept indoors. Like, the hermit in the reverse, um, it could take you a long time to kind of finally come out your shell and feel like you want to present yourself to the world. Because, like, the, the hermit is definitely, like, a homebody or someone that keeps to their self. Or you could be very quiet, but, like, once you feel comfortable and you feel like people finally get to know you or you feel that y'all have the same belief systems or whatever it's like that's when you finally let your hair down and it's like you have a lot you know what I'm saying it's like you have a lot because this could be someone who keeps their hair pinned up all of the time it's like they never really wear their hair down and it's like can you just put your hair down for me and it's like when you see how beautiful they are with their hair down but it's like they don't show that shit to everybody but if you've seen this person with their hair down before it's like they really like you or they really trust you or they really or if you if they even let you touch their hair or something like that it's like they don't show that shit to everyone they could be very a very reserved personality or whatever but I feel like this person person is not scared to show people how much they've grown or something it's like they it's like they're just stepping into the world a little different it's like they don't you may not recognize this person no more because it's like um they've grown so much it's like they could have been inside and kept their self away from people while they were going through some type of like metamorphosis do you understand what i'm saying it's like now that they're introducing themselves to the world it's like god damn like shit you know what like what the fuck like damn where the fuck you been i've been chilling you know what i'm saying like i've been chilling and then you got the king of coins here so like this is definitely showing like maturity someone that's a family man someone that is it's this is, has to do very much so with a masculine energy and it's like a, a okay they say something about someone over here scared to come outside that was like this person really doesn't like coming outside with that hermit card in the reverse but it's like when you do come outside it's like god damn it's like why do you hide yourself in all that pretty hair and all that golden skin and it's like i mean clearly you it's like you've been somewhere. Like where the fuck? Like why you been hiding? It's like where the fuck you been hiding? I don't know. I really want to say like why you been hiding? It's like come out. It's like but someone really just don't like being seen. It's like they really don't like a lot of public attention or something like that. But there's a king of coins that wants to show someone off. It's like but this one is mature. It's just like. The king of coins is someone like they work hard, but at the same time, it's like they want to enjoy their money. If they fuck with you, they're going to take care of you. It's like very old school, very chivalrous, very uh, responsible, respectable. Whoever this is can have gray hairs, but I want to say it's like sexy, like, you know, like that mature, sexy kind of like, and they really dress. I want to say hip but with a very mature like you can see this person going out 
with some slacks on and just like in a stylish way dressing up like some kind of like really professional work attire but making that shit look cool though and always look good i want to say this person always got some glasses on like a pair of shades or something and can always i want to say this person can always have a pair of shades on if they don't have a shade on they don't have shades on they have hats they this person likes accessories very very impeccable dresser very debonair very respectable has a very nice ambiance with them. Hmm. The sun. It's like this male energy here. It's like this person is a very modern man. That's what I want to say. There could be someone that's been hiding. That's been struggling with coming out. Again, this is a situation where... It's like two people need to meet, I want to say. But I want... Uh, this one, as long as they um, don't talk their self out of going outside. Because I can see this person talk their self out of going outside. Um, and I can see this person thinking that they know everything. You know everything, but you ain't lived longer than this one. Like, this person has some... Uh, experience they have something that they can this person has a lot to bring to the table um i'm here one hand washes the other i want to say it's a great union it's a would be a great companion definitely starting off as uh it's like a seed being planted and i want to say it's divine timing it's like perfect timing for something like but I don't, I don't, it's like you got to come outside though. It's like you, you have to come the fuck outside, you know, can't just sit inside manifest. You know what I'm saying? Like let all that positivity that you brewing up on the inside be shown outside. You feel what I'm saying? So I definitely feel like there's going to be a divine meeting here. Very fortunate. All right, Cancer, this is the rest of your reading. If this resonated or if you feel this energy, because again, this here, something is growing. Something is brewing. Something is about to bring some stability. And again, like the hermit in the reverse, it's like when you're in a hermit in the upright, it's like you're going inside to find yourself to grow. You've been in too long. It's time to come outside. All right. Peace. Hit that like button.